Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with you how I make my apple cider donut cake. This recipe comes out so good that you're going to share this cake with family and friends all season long. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first what I do is I have uh, two medium sized apples and actually these apples come from my apple tree. So if you've been watching my channel before, you know that I talk about my apple tree that I have and my lemon tree. I love using them and recipes. And so I'm using two of my apples from my tree. I go ahead and grate those. We're gonna need one cup and typically two apples, two medium sized apples will give you one cup. Now my tree is golden delicious and that's the apple that I'm using, but you can also use Granny Smith apples as well or either Honeycrisp will also work nicely in this recipe. And we're going to need one cup of grated apples and I'm going to share with you how I do uh, put a nice cinnamon sugar coating on the outside of our apple cider donut cake because you know how they take that cinnamon sugar mixture and they toss those warm donuts in that and oh it just tastes so good well that is what we're going to give our cake that same type of taste on the outside as well so i have here my four large eggs at room temperature i have a box of yellow cake mix and this is the 13 0.25 ounce box of yellow cake mix and if you're using the 15.25 ounce box of yellow cake mix there's a slight variation to the recipe and I'll share with you what that is. Now next what I do is I have one stick of butter and that's uh, unsalted butter that I'm using. I melted my butter and I let it slightly cool before adding it to my mixer with the cake mix. I have my one cup of grated apples and then to my mixer, I'm going to be adding my Angry Orchard. This is my little secret ingredient. I love using Angry Orchard. Now, if you don't want to use the Angry Orchard hard cider, you can use regular apple cider if you like as well. But let me tell you, the Angry Orchard hard apple cider gives this cake some incredible apple cider flavor, plus those bubbles gives this cake a nice tenderness and moistness with those grated apples in there. So I put in three-fourths of a cup of the hard apple cider and if you're using the 15.52 ounce box of yellow cake mix you want to use one cup of apple cider. I have the 13.25 ounce box so I use three-fourths of a cup of the hard apple cider. Then next I put in my eggs. My eggs were at room temperature because room temperature eggs are going to blend better with the cake and into your batters and your mixes. And I like to put my eggs in one at a time. And then you see how our cake looks nice and aerated. And be sure to blend your cake well so that way all your eggs and everything is well blended. But you don't want to over mix your batter. If you're using a stand mixer like I am, sometimes I have to stop it to make sure that any um, batter or any dry ingredients, if it happens to gather at the bottom of my bowl, I make sure everything is mixed in well. Remember, we do have that grated apple, so you will be having those little chunks in there, so your batter is not going to be completely smooth. Now, how we get the cinnamon sugar coating on our cake is first we mix two tablespoons of granulated sugar and then to that I added a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and be sure to blend the cinnamon and the sugar together well. Then in my 10 cup butt pan that I've gone on and I've sprayed with some nonstick spray, I sprinkle the cinnamon and sugar mixture all around the sides. You also want to make sure that you get the inside ring as well and we're going to be using all of the cinnamon sugar mixture and again that was two tablespoons of granulated sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and go all around and then once I have all of the cinnamon sugar mixture in my bunt pan what I do next is that I rotate my bunt pan making sure that I get all the way to the edge, have everything nice and coated. I shake off any extra and then I take that and I put it right back around that center ring, making sure that the center ring is nice and coated. Now for that nice fall flavor of our apple cider donut cake, I'm going to add two teaspoons of ground cinnamon 
And then I'm also going to add some ground nutmeg and I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now while I'm doing this, I have my oven is preheating on 350 degrees. I blend the cinnamon and nutmeg very well into my batter and I go ahead and I fill my bump pan. Now you can also do cupcakes with these as well. Once your cupcakes are done and they have cooled, you will take your cupcakes, you would brush on melted butter, unsalted melted butter, and then you would roll the tops of your cupcakes in the cinnamon and sugar mixture to create that crust. Our cake is ready for the oven. It's going to bake at that 350 for 35 to 40 minutes until our insert comes out clean. Well, our cake is out of the oven. It is looking good. It is smelling good. The apples and the cinnamon, it smells so good in the kitchen. Now, this is my tester. I always talk about the tester. This tester, I've probably had it for 20 years. And what I do is when I start to smell my cake throughout the house, I know that it's just about done. So I always like to check on my cake about 10 to 15 minutes prior to that end baking time. And then I also like to put my tester in to see if it comes out with no crumbs on it. And then we know, hey, our cake is done. Well, I went on and I loosened up my cake from the sides and I let my cake cool for about 15 minutes before we flip and take it out. When I do my flip, you want to do it in one quick, smooth motion. And then I lift it up, and there we have it. Our apple cider donut cake. Do you see the little cinnamon sugar edges right there? And then do you see that cinnamon sugar that's on top of the cake and around the sides? I cannot wait for y'all to give this cake a try. Today, I bake this cake to share with my neighbors and my sister and her family. This first bite's for you. Go ahead and take your bite. Now I'm going to take my bite and see how we did. Mm-hmm. Y'all, oh my goodness. This cake comes out so moist, so light, full of apple cider flavor. And you know what? It's even better the next day. I'll have a list of ingredients in the description box below for your reference. And I'll also have some links to my other fall desserts and my other apple desserts, my wonderful applesauce cake that I make from scratch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, show this video some love, give it a thumbs up and click share. Share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.